today, the 27th, the High Court family decision has finally decided that the late should be buried in Nebi, in Jukia Hill Ward, Juba Village, Nebi District. First order was to the effect that the late should be buried in Nebi District. Number one. Number two, the Honorable Justice Ketra has also ordered the children, the biological children of the Honorable Deceased Honorable Justice, the siblings, the widower, His Excellency Ambassador Amoko, together with the Attorney General, this death is a national death as well as a family death, to sit together and make preparations for the burial of Honorable, the late Honorable Justice Naracha Amoko. In my view, the judge is alive to the fact that any party dissatisfied with the ruling can go on and appeal, but he now preliminary finding she orders the barrier to go on uninterrupted. Of course, there are other available legal remedies available should anyone that is aggrieved with any decision take. But I think it is only just and befitting that the owner to honor the deathbed wishes of the spouse of the deceased and number two those that are very close to the deceased towards the time that they are on earth are usually given the first priority so this decision is good because it restates and emphasizes the law that whereas the spouse surviving spouse has the precedence insofar as burial arrangements are concerned the children or any other person who is in close proximity to, this, uh, to the deceased can displace the spouse. And then very importantly, the late Honorable Justice Arach Namoko was a royal, so by the mere fact that she got married to the Madi, she doesn't lose her right to custom and celebrate the same. Mm. And so confirm to 